Hello and welcome to Shelf Centered. I've got a review today. This is a quick review, just a number. This is what I'm doing now. I, I review things quickly and then we can talk about them in the Discord, which I will link down below in the description. Today's review is none other than Jade City by Fonda Lee and it's number one in the Greenbone Saga. I read this one via audiobook, via, uh, actually not Audible this time, it was Google Play. <laughs> um, and the narrator was, or is Andrew Cascino, so we'll get to that as well. Uh, but Jade City, it won the World Fantasy Award for its year, and I forget which it is, I'll edit something in there here. Uh, but uh, I'll be honest, just, Spoiler alert for the rest of this. I want to give it another one. It was so good. This was such a different book to me. Um, it was sold to me as urban fantasy, and I guess technically it is. Uh, you do have a lot of kind of modern conveniences. You've got automobiles, as far as I can tell, TVs. You've got normal everyday things, but it's set in a world at least that has different names than I'm used to. <laughs> so I guess starting with that, uh, Jade City takes place mostly on this island of Kekon, Kekon, Kekon. Um, and I should know because I did the audiobook and yet I'm still going, I think it's Kekon. Uh, anyway, uh, this is a, an island as opposed to the mainland, which kind of scoffs and, and thumbs its nose at this backwards island over here. But this island of Kekon is kind of ruled by these clans, these syndicates that, uh, like the Yakuza or whatever, in, in kind of in that sense, um, they have a lot of traditions, right? It's, it's a lot based on that, and it's a lot based on, uh, well, these kind of syndicates getting along or not, and that can cause a lot of issues. And I think that's probably why their their people thumb their noses at at this kind of backwards island because it is a, a little bit like a mob rule almost. As long as you know the strongest power wins in the end and kind of controls here, I can't say that's really wrong. The Call family is is kind of our, our main family we're following. They are just trying to do their thing. They're one of the most powerful, but uh, potentially not the most powerful uh, in the area. Uh, you've got Lan, who's the head, but he's still got his his grandfather, who's the former head that kind of gave up the whole, the whole uh, empire, I guess, uh, the, the, that they have to Lan, kind of in a I don't know, it doesn't seem completely willing uh, way, but he's still around and still is really intensely grumpy and not, uh, and kind of undermining Lan, who is the head now. Uh, Lan's father has died. He's kind of, you know, his father would have been great too, but it kind of fell to him now. So uh, you've got Lan, you've got his brother, Hilo, you've got a sister, Shay. At this point in this, this rich civilization's history, there's, it's kind of a bit of a truce that, you know, when you start this book and, and we, we know that, um, they're, they're big into commerce, they're, and the biggest thing here on this island is jade. Jade is this, it's, it's this substance that you can wear, that you can have on you, and it actually grants you these kind of magical abilities, and the abilities are uh, like faster movements and better awareness and strong and strength and and the more jade you have the more of those things you have so you want a lot and people start getting them as earrings or wherever and and all over their body they'll have all this jade and of course it becomes a status symbol as well so uh what's interesting though about it is that it also is only for a certain type of person. You have to have essentially a genetic affinity uh, for jade in order to be able to, to use it. And you actually start out uh, in Jade City with this, uh, this kind of some kids just trying to steal some jade and then getting caught up in it. And then just like, oh, that was a, <laughs> you might've had some temporary powers, but it is, it is going to affect you for the worse going forward. Jade, jade City is just, it, there's so many things right about this, and that's what got me, is I'm already gonna be fascinated. This already hits a lot of buttons for me, so I kinda of knew going in. Um, I, you know, I love a good, I mean, some of my, uh, 
favorite movies are martial arts movies and and knowing uh, Fonda Lee is a martial artist herself who, who wrote this and and uh, just the ability that she has to really uh, nail an action scene and there's some great action especially at the with this you know intense magic system that's been put in here that that amplifies everything it's a really interesting uh, magic system but applied to this great action that you have um, there's a training school, so you get a little bit of that, but it's not uh, in any way like there's so many books these days I feel like that have to go through the like training school. You get a little glimpse of what uh, people are sent through uh, to become kind of a, 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 a pillar uh, is one of the words of, uh, or, or high up in the, the syndicate, right, in the crime, in this crime family essentially. <laughs> um, and they are they're just their families but anyway so the main people are, are uh, there's all kinds of just nomenclature to learn the the, the height the, the biggest uh, is, a, is a pillar that's kind of the, the top that's the the head you have all kinds of other names for the the you know I'll let you get into that this is a quick review um, but which is cool because it makes it its own separate place this whole Thing that they have they, they, they name everything um, uh, a different name but anyway um, one of the things besides the action that, that Fonda Lee just does so well in this is the characters so my favorite characters uh, probably have to be Hilo and Shay I think um, Hilo is one he's kind of this uh, <laughs> like easily uh, provoked kind of member of the family that has probably too high of a position that is going to get the whole family in trouble and so you can already see like where that's going to go right um, but it's hard not to also love the guy like he loves people that are his people that are loyal to him that are his family and he will do anything for them and you really see that um, but also because of that love he is quick to take action and maybe a little too quick without thinking and so this is great you've got Shay is a member of the same family you've got just so uh, so many things just what I liked about this is is you've also then um, Shay kind of gave up this life to go to the mainland and, and kind of follow a, a non Kekanese <laughs> uh, to uh, do her own thing right and and to be her own person and she gives up the jade which was really hard you had to go through withdrawals to go to to give up your jade and um, but she ends up coming back and and just to see kind of uh, the prejudices uh, you see the prejudices a, a lot and I just think it's really well handled uh, you've got people that can that do have affinity for jade and then people that absolutely have no affinity for it and then have even uh, almost like uh, so there's kind of like gra like a graduated scale but all the way down to zero and won't even they could touch it and it won't even harm them at all and so then you go or you know then then people are suspicious of them because or oh, are they cursed or what what is it uh, so I think that's handled quite well um, overall uh, there's just you know everything's gonna fall apart you know the clan wars are coming the next book is even called Jade War so <laughs> if you are surprised by that you shouldn't be uh, but on the whole this is just such a well-crafted story you fall in love with the characters first of all and then you've got great action almost from the first page you've got great action that you just jumped into I loved it so then you combine the two uh, you've got just uh, Fonda Lee is not afraid to kill her darlings and uh, this is one where you know be ready to get get close to characters that you may not have for long and, and that uh, maybe I'm a glutton for punishment but these tend to be my favorite books where I just am experiencing, experiencing the gamut of emotions because then you have Hilo just you know on one end just being happy and go lucky and and then at the other uh, just devastated and and raging and so I I I'm gonna have to go with a 9 out of 10 I'm probably more hedging uh, my bets on this <laughs> book for the rest of the series but I was insanely impressed this definitely earned its uh, world fantasy award because it's amazing it's highly recommended go check it out 
and I cannot say that enough. Uh, I said I would talk about Andrew Cassino. Um, what, one of the things that happens to me with an audiobook is I get into it, and when I get in deep, and I am not even noticing that I have I'm having somebody read this to me, that says huge amounts, and that's what exactly Andrew Cassino did for me. So that I guess will be telling if I'm not even noticing because they're doing the voices and they're there. But, but also acting it out. And one of my pet peeves is whispering, is when audio, audiobook narrators whisper. and Because I'm like, I, I get that you're whispering, that you're acting, but, <laughs> but I need to be able to hear this. He did not do that. <laughs> That's what was great. I can give big props for that. Because I wasn't pissed about the whispering at any time. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this. Overall, just well done. Uh, the only real complaint was that Google Play will often, you'll be listening to it, and if it gets off or crashes or for any reason, which is not a, it's not a little, uh, then it can sometimes knock you back like two minutes, five minutes, as opposed to any other thing that I've listened to. Maybe you're, you lost a couple seconds here or there, but it does not lose you the a good chunk of time which is frustrating so anyway that's my only criticism of the way that i listen to it so it was my own fault uh, anyway so thank you for stopping by thanks for checking out shelf centered please like and subscribe if you like this kind of thing and i will catch you next time bye